Have you ever wondered why we have so much trouble letting go of the past? Why do some of us even refuse to learn how to release it? Why is it so difficult to let go of experiences that have caused us pain and suffering? Well, it's because every piece of information and every experience is linked to certain emotions and causes an imprint on our hearts and souls. This is why so many of our limiting beliefs are formed, especially in childhood, when we absorb everything that's going on around us, like sponges. In today's video, I will reveal nine steps we can take to help us let go. Before we dive into this topic, let me quickly introduce myself. Hi, it's Monica, your intuitive trauma transformation coach who helps you face and successfully navigate through the storms of life, guiding you through a most powerful self-healing process and teaching you all the mindfulness tools you need to embark on your journey to your core self and create the life you've always envisioned. There are actually two reasons that keep us stuck in the past. Number one, certainty, which is our need to survive and leads us to believe that we have to be in control because everything unknown is dangerous. Number two, yin, the feminine part within us that tends to attach emotion to anything that impacts us in a significant way especially if it causes pain or suffering. To let go, we need more yang, the masculine or warrior part in a person that helps to break through. In last week's video, we discussed that we are not experiencing life at all. We are experiencing our narrative made up in our minds. So here are the nine steps you can take to break free. First, turn letting go of the past into a must for the future. The first step is to acknowledge what is holding you back and think about why you owe it to yourself to realize and fulfill your true self and move on. Identify what it exactly is you're holding on to, a failed relationship, a failed exam, an embarrassing moment. Do you need to forgive someone either in person or in your own heart, so that you can let go of anger and step into a more peaceful state? And then ask yourself, what are the reasons that I absolutely must move beyond this? How will my life change when I learn how to let go of the past? How will it change the depth and connection in my relationships? And how will I feel in this new chapter of my life? Write it into your journal, draw a picture and describe it as colorful as you can. Writing it down will help you stay committed to releasing your past. Gaining a clear sense of purpose is essential to establishing any goal. Your purpose will serve as your emotional drive when you feel like giving up. You will inevitably face setbacks and challenges, but if you have a strong enough 
reason and a purpose that drives you, you will stay focused and dedicated. Second, identify your emotional habits and old survival patterns. Identifying your emotional habits is one of the most challenging parts of letting go because it requires deep introspection. How do you live your life? What are your limiting beliefs? What's the story you tell yourself? Remember last week? Where do you live emotionally? We all have patterns and whether they are positive or negative doesn't matter because they are comfortable and we want to stay in them. They helped us survive early on as kids. When you grow accustomed to certain emotions, even negative ones, you don't notice how they affect you on a daily basis. You don't realize that you are stuck in a negative emotional loop. You believe you are reacting as anyone would to any given situation. But our unique emotional habits can have a profound influence on the way we look at life, the way we act and how good we are at getting unstuck and moving on from the past. So why settle for a life where we empower the negative emotions and disempower the positive? Identifying your emotional habits starts to shift toward a more positive experience. Your emotions are like any muscle. You can train yourself to feel frustrated, sad, stressed, or even depressed after a challenging situation arises. Or you can train yourself to feel passionate, joyful, and strong, even when something bad happens in your life. When you take charge of your emotions, you can learn how to let go of the past in a way that makes you feel lighter and freer instead of fearful. When you catch yourself falling into a negative emotional habit, work to cut off the thoughts and switch gears immediately. The more you condition yourself, the more wired those emotions become and the more you adapt to any situation thrown your way. Have you heard about the pattern interrupt technique from neuro-linguistic programming? Recognize your pattern and before you react the old way, kick yourself out of your state by making certain movements, repeating a certain sentence or looking at something, etc. In short, confuse yourself quickly and then do the opposite. It can be quite funny. Try it and laugh at yourself. Third, reprogram your mind. The ultimate breakthroughs in life happen by learning strategies, developing an empowering story, and ensuring you are in the right state to move forward. To do this, you must condition your mind every single day. Sometimes it will feel awkward, but you must condition your mind to stop believing negative self-talk and start embracing empowering beliefs 
that lift you up instead of dragging you down. If you don't take the time to examine and change your habits, life starts to happen to you instead of for you. No matter how smart you are, how safe you are, or how inspired you are, if you don't stand guard at the door of your mind, then you give power to what is disempowering and disillusioning and find yourself distracted by thoughts that keep you rooted in negative patterns. Tell yourself empowering stories instead of limiting ones. Feed your mind with new knowledge and positivity. And very important, surround yourself with people who make you feel better and put yourself in a peak state. Work on cultivating a thriving garden instead of a dry patch of weeds. Fourth, create empowering daily rituals. Empowering rituals can help you cultivate that thriving garden. There's a reason that the world's most successful people all establish daily routines that include things like a healthy breakfast, mindfulness exercises like meditation, physical exercise, and learning new things. It's the small rituals that you do every day that build momentum and lead to massive change. Most importantly, start your morning with a powerful priming ritual, which combines elements of meditation, affirmations and visualization to make your day what you want it to be. Practice meditation to clear your mind and help yourself live in the present moment. And always eat right and exercise because the fuel you give your mind and body is essential to taking massive action. Realize that everything that happened to you in the past is what made you the person you are now? A strong, powerful person who can bounce back from anything. Love and accept yourself deeply and completely for who you are. When you love yourself and your life, it's easier to let go of the past for good. Fifth. Shift your focus. So much pain in life is caused by thinking you can change others and control the way they feel and act. No, no, no. We become victims and think that our circumstances are the result of some mysterious force when they are really the result of our own decisions. We have the ability to turn negatives into positives, setbacks into opportunities, failures into lessons. All we need to do is accept that the only thing we control in life is our own actions and decisions and shift our focus away from other people and events outside our control. You can't take back an unhealthy relationship, but you can learn how to let go of past mistakes. You can't go back in time and fix a bad childhood, but you can realize 
that your past does not equal your future. Every day is a chance to start over. Every new day offers you a brand new empty page in your life journal to write a completely new chapter. From the minute you wake up, you make choices. Learning how to let go of the past means breaking the pattern and focusing on creating the life you deserve, not dwelling on the one you used to have. Six, teach yourself to be present. That's very important. You must also shift your focus to be self-aware and mindful of the present moment. Remember, now is the only time that matters. The future only exists in your imagination. It isn't real. The past only exists in your memory. And memories can be tainted with falsehoods. The only thing that is real is what is happening right now. And that's why there's nothing more powerful than the human soul rooted in the present moment, free from past regrets or future worries. The gift of presence is so powerful it can bring fulfillment not only to you but to those around you when you are present your children and your relationships benefit and your friendships grow stronger why because they feel hurt you can teach yourself to be present if you want more joy more happiness, more fulfillment. Engage with your real life, not social media on your phone or your TV. Stop giving into the temptations of technology to transport you out of reality. Bring your attention to this moment right now and take stock of what is beautiful. The biggest key to forgetting the past is to stop living there. Seventh, work on your personal growth. Learn something new every day. There is no better time to work on a personal growth plan than when you want to learn how to let things go. Focusing on learning and improving is not only a distraction from negative thoughts, it's also empowering. Take this time to figure out what area in your life you want to improve. Do you want to develop your career? Create the healthy relationship you deserve. Once you identified what you want to work on, pinpoint the obstacles you may face and assemble the tools you need to succeed. As you gather these tools, consider working with a coach during your personal growth journey. Remember, I am here for you. As I always emphasize, journaling is another tool that can help you very much. Writing down your thoughts can help you identify what's holding you back and move on. You can also practice gratitude, which can help you live in the moment instead of in the past. Start a gratitude journal or practice it during your morning meditation. Think about all that you have to be grateful for in your current life. This can give you the 
perspective you need to finally learn how to let go of the past. Eighth, surround yourself with positive people. We said it before. What separates those who achieve their goals from those who don't? It isn't time or skills. It's knowing how to use the law of attraction to get what you want. Those people know that when what you focus on, you feel. The energy you put into the world is what you get back. And who you surround yourself with is who you become. Letting go of the past is much more difficult if you are around people who constantly remind you about it. When you put the theory of peer elevation to work in your life and surround yourself with positive people who are committed to personal growth and progress, you'll find it much more easy to move on. Ninth, give back. Lastly, as you strive to understand how to let go of the past, find something you want to serve that is greater than yourself. Live for your family, for your community, for humanity. Motive does matter. So find motives that go beyond yourself. No matter how broke you may be or how broken you feel, you have something to share with others. Even if it's something as common as a smile or a listening ear. When you finally realize that the secret to living is giving, your life will improve dramatically. And you will be able to see how to let go of the past. I started my YouTube channel during a time of financial hardship because I still wanted to help and give to people who are suffering from anxiety or depression. Your life matters. And if you align yourself with the truth that you are here not just to get, but to give, then other people will feel your authenticity and open up to you. Giving back reminds you what you are made for. Focusing on the needs of others has a way of empowering you to do more than you thought possible. If you liked this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit the bell as well. And please comment below. YouTube shows my videos to more people when there are comments. You can ask me any questions or just leave an emoji. Thank you, my friends. Namaste, namaste. And remember, you deserve to break free and live your magic every day.